Mohale City in the West Rand up in arms again against the mining companies and illegal miners in the area. The community claims that uh, formal mining is working with illegal miners to make a profit. As a result, they have blocked the community from benefiting from employment and business opportunities in the area. You'll recall a year ago, the community shutting down the area after eight women were raped by suspected illegal miners. And uh, Mobile Madlala back there this morning. Mobile, good morning to you. Describe the situation for us. It does look like uh, it is tense but somewhat calm. Oh yes, Foley, I want to show you behind me. Those are the cops that have just had a conversation with the community members that have refused to be um, basically escorted because some of the people here had guns and they said that they're intimidating them. So if they are going to escort the community to where they are going, then they want them to be in their cars and drive behind them. So my colleague is going to show you how many people are right behind us, in front of us, and these are some of the community members. We do understand that they're going towards a place where they are going to be meeting. This is, of course, to highlight the plight of some of the young people in this area. They're saying that there's um, very high unemployment, but there are mines that are, ta that, that are mining in their area, and they could provide that employment. So I want to bring in some of the community members then to speak to us about these issues. We can see the community is walking, yes. clearly going somewhere. What is happening? Where are you going? Okay, remember as uh, this is a, it's a peaceful display. Hence, we were talking to the, to the police to say, stop what you are doing because we feel like you are intimidating us. Uh, what we're doing now, we just want Gwedema uh, Ntashi to see that this thing is affecting us as the community. And mostly, as you can see, it's most of youth. So it's youth that is here to show that in, in, in Mukhale city we have a problem of unemployment. So we are here begging them. This is us begging them because of they want to be begged. We are begging them to come down and intervene. Because of, remember as we told you the last time that the interdict is given to the municipality and the police. So immediately if they interdict the first, the first citizen of, of Mukhale city, it means now no one will get employment in that site. Yes. So what is the problem with regards to the mine that's currently mining? My understanding was that you guys were going to go on the table and they said that their doors were open and that you can communicate. The funny thing is that this thing, we've been hearing it many times since from the 25th uh, last month. They've been saying, let's go to the table, let's talk. Yesterday there was a visual uh, a meeting whereby they said they will issue out a letter, Pan-African and Municipality, to say we are coming to an agreement. But now, all of a sudden, it's only the municipality that wrote, has written a letter to the public, not the Pan-African. So it means we are going back to where we started because of, it shows that Pan-African doesn't want to do a, a, a peaceful talk with the people. They don't want to hire. This one shows that they don't want to hire anyone from Mukhale City. Because of if right now, as we are standing, they haven't uh, 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 produced that letter, then it shows oh, there's nothing that we can sit about again. Because of we tried many times. Thank you very much for speaking to us. That is some of the community members. We do understand that they are going to a meeting now where communities are going to basically converge. Um, the police on high alert. Some of them have gone to the front, um, just ensuring that the situation does not escalate. But earlier on, there were blocked roads. Um, we saw some of, of, of the burning in of, of, of dinghy. Some of the burning in the tar road. So it does continue. We will see what happens and we'll bring you that. Like for us in Mokhala City, Mobile Majlala, our reporter there watching the space.